What's up, guys? It's your boy Logan Smokes. Um, I'm just doing some Star Wars because, you know, the 4th is with you very soon. So, uh, I got some game, old school games from my buddy at work. Um, I'll put his channel uh, in the description if you want to see that down below. Uh, otherwise, we'll be doing some gameplay on this. So, Hey guys, playing some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I got this game from my buddy that I got my PC from and all this gaming setup. So, thank you. Uh, it will be in the description, like I said in the intro. But, I had a load game, but uh, no save game, so... I guess we'll just start a new game here. Um, all the Star Wars music and stuff that goes out to the Star Wars producers and producers of the game. So uh, I'll make sure to give you a shout out out in the comments below. But uh, we gotta choose. It's a very in depth game for a 2003 game. I love it. It's a great game. I only played it for about two hours. But who do you want to be? Male soldier, male scout, it's home on fridges of space. I mean, I'm tempted to be a soldier, but, you know, uh, maybe a scout, uh, customize, portrait, alright. Yeah, we should be a scout, but we don't know what to name him yet. Plus, you can choose, like, a dark side or a light side. I mean, I haven't played it that depth yet, but uh, that's why you guys are here with me. Uh, but let's see, what should we... I mean, uh, that's just normal looking. I don't want him to be white, no offense. <laughs> Ah, oh, tributes. All right, so it needs to be strong, of course. I have intelligence, wisdom. Uh, obviously, you can read this if you'd like, but there's so many things you can put into this. Cutscenes, like, doesn't even feel like it should be a 2002 game. High charisma, wisdom, more strength. I think that's pretty good. That's good. Skills. Uh, obviously. Persuasion. Security? Maybe? Repair. Oh, yeah. You can get droids and stuff, too. It's some great game, actually. <laughs> Fallout 4 of the Star Wars edition, you should say. But, uh, yeah. What else should we put here? Ah, uh, I'm pushing the awareness and the demolitions. We'll be a all-around type guy. And should we? You can have guns, weapons, you know, or swords. I think, I think we're gonna go with the, the pistols. But maybe. Uh, let's see here. Our proficiency heavy. Yep, you want that. Bron Polo. It's like LeBron. So, um. Yeah. Let's just do that. Bron Polo. Let's go, Lo. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry if my mouth's dry. My, I don't know if you guys see my water. It's frozen. Oh, anyways. Here it is. Kinda of feels like a throwback Thursday. Also, I mean, the fourth, fourth is coming. So hopefully the fourth, fourths, fourths is with us. Four thousand years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malik, most last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord, Van, has unleashed an incredible Sith army upon an unexpected galaxy. Crushes all resistance. Resistance. The League War of Conduit has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in the battle. And many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taurus, the Jedi battle fleet engages the force of Darth Malik in the desperate efforts to halt the Sith's galactic domination. And plus, like, you don't need to know any of the movies to play this. Um, I just recommend you playing this Knights of the Old Republic 1 and then 2, obviously. But, uh, 
because it's a whole different story compared to uh, the um, movie. But we'll let it fly go. It's beautiful. Look at those graphics. Polo. Where am I? What is this place? Why don't I have sleeves? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. Oh god. And our spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. And I spire. Um Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic Fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We were a awesome. ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry Never. up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. See, this is where you, everything you say does impact what... If you're gonna be part of the Jedi or if you're gonna be part of the Sith and I mean what do we want to be part of you know the Sith is so cool but let's just ask what it is. is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire well not an officer really but she's the one in charge of this mission one of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack you swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission now it's time to make good on that oath I heard what everyone's saying about you you explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You visited planets I've never even heard of. People yeah. with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. The Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Oath or no oath. Okay, let's go help. So hurry up and Okay. You got quests, you got all this good stuff here. Um Footlocker, you know, I'm just doing this easy stuff. Getting everything that I need. Uh, you can change all your stuff up here. So you got the light, dark, uh, strength, inventory, which, you know, if you go over here, you can get your clothes on. Because <laughs> you do need it. I don't, I'm not reading it because I have played this before, so. Uh, we'll go in with the blaster pistols. Probably. Because we're a scout, like he said, not a soldier. But now we're looking good. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. And like that, you can make parties uh, and just add them with you. And you can. Because it's of pretty half, awesome. This room is in lockdown, I, I'm not saying worry, too much. Just watch, guys. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. So now you can select the person that you're partied with and use him for special security stuff. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. And you can switch back. Just like that. So, uh, movement keys. This is Cartel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Let's move out. <laughs> Got it. Oh, we're getting some Sith in the Republic. See, the Sith just are so powerful, and you can. Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. Yes, yeah, for the Republic. Plus, every time you see an enemy, it pauses the game. You can choose what uh, attack you want to do. And I am obviously doing the rapid shot. Then it says that you're going to be doing it. You can throw some more on there. You can switch your controls. Oh, 
Boom, and that's how you do it. Is you barely gotta do any typing. You just have to target them and get all that good stuff. Oh, goodbye, droid. Bye, bye, droid. Bye, bye, droid. Bye, bye, boy, bye, boy, 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 droid. Oh shit! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get out of the way, dude. Why the fuck are you in my way? And that's how you do it. Easy as pie. Ooh, a foot locker. Let's see what we got in here. Frag grenades. Some more swords. I don't need frag. I need frags, but... It just feels like Fallout, honestly. I mean, it's such an awesome game for how old it is. Credits, which is your money, of course. Oh, remains. Tell me you got a weapon or something. Or a frag grenade. That works, too. But let's get out of here. A lot of action going here. Oh, a sword fight. Obviously, a sword fight. And there's. <laughs> Make your own lifesaver. So, I mean. I really want a red one. Not a green or a blue one. It's so emotional. Oh! Get naded! You guys think. I, you guys are the only people that can use nades? Have you ever tried this before? Doing this? Catch that, motherfuckers! Bah! Whoa, how are they still alive? Let's see if I hit him from that deep. Wow, that was a horrible shot. Come on, come on, Bron. Okay, get away from that. You have to get closer to that. Come on, Bron. Bron Polo. Got to view better than that, man. Thank you. It's just getting so bad, but. I need to take all. I've got to loot everything. I learned that from my buddy H2O. Just kidding. We're not buddies, I guess. We haven't never hung out, but I would like to meet him. He would be probably a good guy to meet. And this episode might be a little longer. I don't know if that's okay with you guys. I mean, I'm gonna make these ones that longer because I really enjoy this game. I mean, like, it's one of the best games you gotta get, and it's probably not that expensive either because it is an older game, 2003. But I love it. Love it. Oh, there is too much for us. We gotta stay back. All we do is get in the way. See, I just want to be the guy to be like, no, I'm gonna take over this galaxy. Oh. Oh, jeez. Hey, look at those graphics. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Well, she blew the fuck up. I'm sorry, man. Throwing an aid. Fuck this. That's how you do it, right there. That's how you do it, right there. A uh, vibration cell. Of course, she doesn't have a uh, freaking. Why can't I take her lifesaver? Right there. I can choose the red one or the green one. That would have been pretty nice. All right, we'll get through here. The bridge is just beyond that door. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon too. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Ah, oh, they don't have fucking lifesavers. All right, so he's telling us that we should take this out. I'm gonna put my short sword on, and that one, and then I'm gonna choose him. Tell him to put a short sword on. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. It's wanting me to do this. Take this off. Give him the long sword. And then, obviously, I want to be more ninja like. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to take these. Let's go. I'm going to take these. I'm going to take these. Let's go. Alright, now we're gonna take this guy right here, Flurry. Flurry. Boom, boom. Then miss him. Oh. Explosions. retreated to the escape pod. We better head that way. The ship won't fast till our lives. But once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. 
Oh, see, this is another thing. Um, if it's on on that, you got to uh, let's just push X. I gotta save it. And Bron Polo. You gotta save it, and then you gotta load it if it freezes during one of the cutscenes, because I am playing on my PC, and it's way newer than this thing's ever experienced. But you do that, and you're good. Oh, it looks like I leveled up or something over there. Oh! Whoa, leg. Oh, I don't say it crashed. Oh, maybe it crashed. Yep. You see that circle of death? It crashed. But anyways, um, I will be continuing this, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the first episode. I guess it's not going to end with crashing, hopefully, in the next game, but uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please like if you want more, and comment if you would like some more of this gameplay, because I'm going to obviously put more on this series. So have a nice one, guys, and thanks for watching.